So what we're demoing here today is the, the Leo demo. This is our latest real-time uh, graphics demo, and it's running on the AMD Fire Pro W9000 graphics card. All of the lighting that you see in this demo is being generated in real time. There's no pre-calculated lighting in this demo uh, whatsoever. Uh, and what the technique that we're using to do this lighting is called uh, our forward plus rendering technique. It combines the best of both worlds between a traditional forward renderer and a uh, deferred renderer. So it allows for complex materials, it's memory efficient, it allows uh, or supports hardware anti-aliasing, um, but it also supports up to thousands of dynamic light, light sources at real time. So let me demonstrate exactly uh, what, what we're looking at here. I'm going to jump to a good shot to demo this. I'm going to turn up, off depth of field, turn off the volumetric lights, go off the fly path, and then I'm going to turn on a light debug mode that shows you exactly how many light sources we have in this scene. And actually, this isn't even showing you all the lights. This technique, what we use to, uh, to leverage this technique is virtual point lights to generate indirect lighting. So, or single bounce global illumination. So as I toggle this on and off, you can see the subtle difference that this single bounce global illumination has on the lighting in the demo. Like on the underside of the dragon, on the underside of his chin, maybe over here on the, uh, on the castle. So let me show you a little bit more about how this works. I'm gonna to go to the educational mode. So in this example, we have 2,000 animated point lights flying around the scene. And how we do this with our forward plus renderer is split the screen into tiles. And then the compute shader generates a list of lights that are affecting the pixels in each one of these tiles and calls the, light, the lights in the lighting pass based on that list of lights. This next mode is basically a heat map that shows how many lights are affecting each one of these tiles. So the tiles that are more opaque or more white have more lights affecting those pixels. Now having 2,000 animated lights flying around the world or your scene really isn't a real world application of, uh, of, this, of this ability to use lots of lights. So what we do, as I mentioned earlier, is leverage these in the form of indirect light sources that simulate single bounce global illumination. This mode demonstrates how with this particular spotlight, it's casting nine sample points out into the scene. And at the point of inter intersection with, with a, a scene geometry, it samples the, lights, the light source and the material and then scatters virtual point lights into the world to simulate the global, uh, single bounce global illumination. So you can see as this light is bouncing off a blue surface, it's casting a blue hue into the scene. And then as it animates down onto the ground, it's now casting a greenish yellowish hue into the scene because of the color and properties of the material that the light is bouncing off of. And so if I go back to the demo, you can see, again, how those lights are providing the subtle, realistic lighting effects that you see in the final demonstration.